that can alter DNA. Um, the main idea of this video is mutations, which is a permanent alteration in the sequence of DNA that make up genes. Um, so as you can see here, the main idea is somatic mutations, which are spontaneous mutations um, that can occur in one's life. For example, UV radiation. UV radiation is when the damage takes up the UV photon and it causes the thymine-based pairs, which make up DNA, to um, form next to each other and form a pyrimidine dimmer, which is a disruption in the bond and in the strand. So basically, reproductive enzymes are unable to copy this and um, as you could see here, there was a double bond between the C's, but because of the pyrimidine dimmer, it forms together and makes this type of mutation. The second part of this video is going to discuss the spontaneous damages that occur in DNA. So there are two specific types of these damages that are represented by deamination and depurination. In deamination, the cytosine is lost from DNA to produce uracil instead. In depurination, um, either a, an adenine or a guanine base purine are removed from the DNA sequence. Let's examine the first type, which is deamination. As you can see, this is your normal sequence, which contains a cytosine and guanine. And once the process of deamination occurs, you're left with a uracil and a guanine. The cytosine and uracil differ by the fact that cytosine has an amino group, while uracil has a double bonded oxygen. This can impact the rest of the DNA replication process. Now looking at the second type, depurination, which removes purine bases A and G, in this example we can see that there's a guanine group here, and after going through depurination, there's an OH apur apurinic site, apurinic site? <laughs> Um, which allows the guanine to be released, thus removing it from the DNA sequence. So another mutation that can occur is errors in DNA due to the replication from polymerase. So polymerase is an enzyme that um, basically makes um, a poly polymer within DNA or RNA, and it can sometimes insert too many or too little nucleotides, and sometimes even the wrong nucleotide. So as you see in this example, which is an incorrect base, um, it puts adenine instead of the correct base, which is guanine, and the polymerase is what makes this change occur, which can uh, make permanent damages within your health. Um, and then, yeah. To conclude, I wanted to discuss the different ways that this actually affects a person. <laughs> Rather than looking at individual DNA sequences, we can discuss how this can impact someone's health. Two examples of genetic-based disorders which occur due to mutations are sickle cell anemia, anemia and um, cystic fibrosis. They both occur due to a, an original strand of DNA being mutated or changed due to one of the changes we discussed or one of the others that exist. And then thus, if it doesn't repair itself beforehand, which can sometimes happen, you are left with life-altering diseases.